hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize fortnite chapter 7 for better fps fix lags and stutter and play competitively make sure to stick around at the end of this video because i'm going to be helping you optimize your pc and your game and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, 7.1 is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here come down to personalization, click on colors and disable transparency effects. This will disallow your windows and surfaces appear translucent. Then head over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off since it is an overlay service, disabling game bar will help you get better performance. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you get extra performance and improve PC performance. Then click on graphics button over here and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce unwanted input latency by using advanced features. Then click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this will help you to optimize your graphic card and utilize it primarily to render the game. Then you have to find the game location so simply click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game. Double click on Fortnite, then head over to Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and then you'll find the win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button and once that is added, select it and for the GPU preference, select high performance. This will ensure that your graphic card is primarily used to render the game. Next step is disabling core isolation and for that simply search for memory integrity over here and select core isolation. Then you wanna have to disable memory integrity. This will make your device a little bit vulnerable, but it utilizes up to 20% of your CPU resources in the background. Try disabling that and it will help you get extra performance in the game. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy and this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Double click on computer configuration, administrator templates, Windows components, app privacy and then you'll find let me zap in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is turned on. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply and then ok. Once all of that is done, you can simply close it. Next step is utilizing hone.gg to optimize your PC and your game. Simply download hone for free on your PC. Once you open it up, you will see an interface like this. The first thing that you have to do is simply click on the backups button and create a backup called Fortnite. For that, you can simply click on create a new backup and name it Fortnite. Click on create a new backup and let it do the job. Once that is done, click on finish backup. Head over to optimizations and then you wanna have to enable optimize IO operations, enable home gaming mode, optimize drives, disable Xbox, general windows optimization and disable windows game bar. Hone also offers you dedicated boost up which includes junk cleaner, optimize and day frag drives, install Hone and Nvidia driver, clean your thumbnail cache, clean your discord cache, scan and fix drive and system errors. All of them are designed to fix any kind of issues that might be causing FPS lags or stutter in the game. Hone also have dedicated games section where you will find presets for all of the games. Simply select Fortnite which should be added over here and then click on best performance. Select activate preset and it will apply all of the best presets required by Fortnite to run on maximum performance. It is that simple. Once again, Hone is a very useful tool if you want to optimize your PC within clicks and I have left a free download link to hone.gg in the description below. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that press windows and R key together and then type in services.msc. Hit enter to open it up, select any service and press S. Then look for sysmain over here, double click on that and for the startup type simply set this thing to disable. If this service is running, simply click on stop and then click on apply. This will help you to disable sysmain in the background which is also prefetch which consumes system and RAM resources. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that simply press Control, shift and escape all together and this will open up task manager. Head over to the fourth tab which says startup apps and then you have to start disabling all of the applications which you feel that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. These applications may include browser, chat GPT, Epic Games Launcher, Microsoft Copilot, Teams, Opera GX or Spotify, WhatsApp or any other service. These services are running on your PC right after you boot them and they are continuously using your system resources. Keep them disabled so that you only run them when you need them. This will help you to reduce the load on your system but also help you to boot your PC faster. Next step is fixing all kind of packet loss, ping issues and other network related issues using Gear Up Booster. I have left a free download link to Gear Up Booster right in the description below. Once you open it up, you guys will find more than 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Fortnite in this list and select it. This will one click optimize your game. 
and connect it to the nearest server possible. It is designed to give you the lowest amount of ping. You can select the game region and find the nearest region to you. For me, it would be Middle East. The best part about Gear Booster is the burger icon over here. Click on the settings button and then you have to head over to optimization settings. Select optimize RAM after boosting and this will help you to optimize your RAM while you're playing the game. So you always have the headroom open for gaming. Once again, Gear Booster is a very simple yet essential tool to fix all kind of network related issues and I have left a free download link for you guys in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here select your local list. See, click on the create button and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. The next step is Fortnite Chapter 7 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This FPS Pack contains 6 simple folders to optimize your PC. First one is CPU Prior which helps you to set up the correct dword value for your processor to optimize its performance. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Once that's done, head over to the second folder which is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your system. I have 32GB RAM so I have to double click and apply this registry. If you have different RAM, you can select it from the preset and once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default. The folder here is Fortnite optimization in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Both folder is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the background consuming your system resources. To disable them, simply double click and apply every single one of these registry over here except Bluetooth or printer services if you use them. And by a mistake, you have disabled any services and you want to turn them back on, double click on revert registries to turn them back on. This folder here is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan which is essentially used to optimize the performance of your PC. Simply right click and then run it as administrator and this will run a PowerShell command on your PC. Then head over to power plans and you'll see ultimate performance plan which should be added in this. Select it and it will help you to disable power saving features on your PC and make sure that your hardware is running on maximum throttle. And the last folder over here is programs in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. You're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Press yes and then it will open up the CMD. Press enter over here and this will delete all temporary files on your PC which will help you to keep your PC optimized and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next tool is MSI mode utility 3. Point zero, simply right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, all you have to do is look for your graphic card in this list, select the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. Then click on apply button and this will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card to perform better. Last is quick CPU and this is a setup file, you have to install it on your PC and open it up. Once you open up quick CPU, all you have to do is make sure that core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance, all of them are set to 100%. Then click on the apply button over here and once that is done, you have successfully disabled core parking on your PC and it will ensure that your CPU will never sleep while you're playing the games. Once that is done, simply close it and close the FPS pack. Next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Now for the best in game settings, you have to click on your profile and head over to settings. Then make sure that your resolution is your normal resolution and you're always playing on the full screen. VSync should be turned off, frame rate limit should be set to unlimited, rendering mode this one will be for DirectX 12, however you guys can go with performance legacy or performance, both of them works absolutely fine. If you're going with DX12, here are the settings that you should apply. For the quality preset, go with custom, NT aliasing and super resolution, I'm gone with Nvidia DLSS, however if you have an Intel graphics you can go with intel zs or i have gone with nvidia dlss and the dlss i have set this thing to performance now for the dynamic 3d resolution i have gone with off nanite virtualized geometry off global illumination off so reflections you guys can go with off shadows medium view distance far textures medium effects medium post processing low hardware retracing off Show FPS on, use GPU crash debugging off, latency markers off, Nvidia reflex on plus boost and once all of that is done, click on the apply button. Once that is done, simply decline for the restart, head over to the sound settings and make sure that your sound quality is set to low. Once all of that is done, you have to restart your game once and head into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 150,000 subscribers. I know that you guys can help me reach there and I'll see you all in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out